This episode of The Outside In is all about beavers and comes to you from the breathtaking Banff Wildland Estate, a pioneering rewilding project based in northeast Perthshire and run by the inspiring Ramsey family. At Banff you can even stay in one of their fully equipped yurts and get up when the beavers do. And that's early. Paul, Sophie and Louise began their rewilding journey here in the 1990s. First, they set about recreating wetlands and planting woodland. But in 2002, they took the visionary step of introducing beavers to the estate. The Banff Wildland Project is now ongoing and constantly monitored to demonstrate the positive impacts on biodiversity and carbon cycles that this style of land management can bring to Scotland. I really love filming here. Um, I've actually filmed beavers here about two or three times in the past and I've had really nice footage of the adults swimming and the kids playing but what I've never really seen before is beavers actually doing their thing and uh, building or repairing dams. I'm going to head down to the lodge and I'm going to see what I can get. Beavers are keystone species which means their role in the landscape is vital. If a keystone species should decline their role cannot be fulfilled by any other species Without them, the ecosystems quickly become degraded and can, over time, completely collapse. These large, semi-aquatic rodents are the largest in the world after the capybara, and there are two species, the North American beaver and the Eurasian beaver, Binomen castafiber, which I'll be filming today. Beavers have large heads and stout bodies, chisel-like incisors, hand-like front feet, webbed back feet, a large, flat, sail-like tail, and they are covered in brown or grey fur. Beavers became extinct in the UK in the 16th century, mainly due to hunting for their fur, meat, and a natural secretion called castorium, which was used in perfumes, food, and medicine. Well, I've just had a fantastic view of uh, the female, the mother. She seems to have this routine. She just comes out of the lodge, she circles round. She almost kind of looks over to us, although she won't be seeing me because they're quite poorly sighted. And then just goes over the dam. But it's just a wonderful, wonderful sight to see. So we've got another beaver. And it's got soil in its mouth. This is really cool. It's just gone to the dam and now it's swimming away from the dam. So they, they do um, dam repairs quite often to maintain the water levels basically as they see fit. I mean they're just incredibly industrious animals. Oh no you've got quite a lot in your mouth there and it's gone to a slightly different part of the dam. Interesting. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> when they're dam building, if they've got soil on their nostrils, um, they can just blow into the water like <laughs> And then you get these bubbles, and some of the mannerisms are so like dogs. Oh, just wonderful. Beavers are herbivores and live in fresh water, such as rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. They prefer slower moving streams where they can build their lodges and find refuge from land predators, allowing them to swim, dive and move building materials more easily. Their dam building activity can also provide natural mitigation against flooding by creating pools off the river and slowing down the flow during peak rainfall. 
They will chew trees for building materials and their activities reimagine the landscape, speeding up the processes of natural regeneration of healthy woodland and creating wetlands that become home to whole new thriving ecosystems. I've just moved over to the third dam and just trying to keep my voice down. It's getting quite dark. Um, it's the female again and she's eating food and it's like a, they're so noisy. You hear them before you see them when they're eating, I'll tell you that. Um, she's just gorgeous, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. You can see mum again. She's just climbed up to the edge of the dam. You can see how large the beaver is when it's out of the water. It's a big animal. Scratching herself with that big rear foot. You can see the webbing on her feet then. Oh, just incredible. These industrious and charismatic creatures are amazing ecosystem engineers and it's a unique privilege to see them back in this landscape where they belong. The Ramses would love to welcome you whether you want to film and photograph the beaver or just soak up the atmosphere of this beautiful and unique estate where nature is back in charge. <laughs> she looks like she's saying goodbye.